Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Score Football. Pick your team number two, four box, pick your team two. So here's a little twist here. Only inserts, numbered cards, and autos of your teams, right, will ship. So if you get an insert, you get a numbered card, you get an autograph, it'll go to you, right? But anything that's non-insert, non-numbered rookie cards will be randomized in one lot at the end of the break, except for Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, and Tua, right? So Joe will still go to the Bengals, Justin will still go to the Chargers, and Tua, right? Non-insert, non-numbered Tua's will still go to the Dolphins. Makes sense, right? I think everybody uh, read the item description. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Four box, pick your team two. Jason popped open the four boxes, I think, last night, and I just grabbed another four from that same group in the back. There you go. If you got a rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the team random. That's in a separate video. Scott got last spot mojo Rams, and there's everybody else. Thanks. Got another four box in the store. We are booked for the night. So thanks, everybody. But we can do another four of these tomorrow. Nick's not here right now, so let's shrink the Nick cam a little bit. Where's, oh, my knife's right up on top of this box right here. All right, good luck, everybody. Mark, your, your shop, your golf shop opened up. Food and beverage starting outdoor dining. There you go. Nice, I'm glad, glad things are slowly getting back to normal. We got Gladiator on in the background. Maximus was just betrayed and now he has been captured and sold into gladiating slavery, I guess. He's, he's, he's somewhere now. So yeah, what are your marks saying is eight people per thousand square feet for the golf shop, including employees, masks required. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're actually doing a little remodeling here, ladies and gentlemen. So if, if you visit the shop before, it'll be a tiny bit smaller because we're, we're growing. So we got to add, um, so we, we're, uh, we're adding or shrinking the retail floor and then adding a couple new offices, possibly a new break studio for later on down the line. The floor is still gonna be pretty big, but I think with the new rules and regulations, there'll be less of an emphasis on, on browsing and whatnot, so we'll see. All right, good luck everybody. So these are the non-numbered that'll go to one person at the end, right? Including the including the rookies? No, vet no, not vet commons. It's just rookies. So these are commons, just vet commons that will not ship. Because I don't think vet commons ship. Yeah, we're not shipping vet commons in score. So this is a one of those I'll go into the rookie pile. And there's our first autograph, LeMichael P. Ryan, Samaj's brother. Brother, cousin, cousin or brother, they're, they're related. And I should have a... I haven't memorized all these guys yet. So we're going to go by groupbreakchecklist.com, which I will, if you're watching live, I'll drop the checklist into the chat for you too. So that'll be for the, that'll be for the Jets. So that first group is Vets, and then this next group is Rookies. And you know what, I should kind of keep an eye out for those guys, right? Sure, how I'm gonna. Uh, 
I think I, I get this now. This is Josh Jacobs to 100. I'm just going to set these over here. Joe Burrow in his Ohio State gear. He was there for a little bit, remember? We'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Natalino and the Bengals. How much should I put inserts here? I'm going to try to make this easy for the shipping team. Inserts here, rookies. Rookie group over there, Vet Commons up there. Justin Herbert, of course, will go to the Chargers. This is not part of the non-numbered rookie group. That'll be for JC. Okay, I have a bit of a pattern here now. There's Robbie Anderson. And Alan Hearns. There's four autographs a box, by the way. So Alan Hearns to 50. Alan Hearns is on the Dolphins? When? Forgot about that. That'll be for Gary. Uh, Brian Edwards, uh, Raiders. And we've got Kendrick Rogers autograph. Kendrick Rogers is a cowboy. Plate coming up. Yeah, I I think score is traditionally. I don't know how much these score boxes cost these days, but score is not traditionally like a high end set if that's what you were looking for. This plate's nice though. Baker Mayfield. Nice Cleveland Browns. Glenn Campbell. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. But it, yeah, like Ryan Harold saying, it is a classic look though, so. I think for those reasons, people are still into it. Jonathan Taylor. Inserts. Rookies. And the two, of course, goes to the Dolphins. That'll be for Gary. See you. See ya. All right, nice Tua there. Mm, 
we got Chris Hernan Herndon the fourth to 100 right there for the Jets The rookie group. Glad there's a nice little pattern here. That helps. There's AJ Brown, Titans. Gray border. And we got Devin Duvernay. A Longhorn. And the Duvernay goes to the Ravens. I'll have all these tagged too. And that'll be for Aaron Billingsley. What happens when I'm a rose in here? I've said this before and I'll say it again. I feel like Rosen, you know, can make a Tannehill-esque return if some team just kind of gives him a chance to, to maybe stay in one system for a minute or two. You know, there's Jameis Winston. Josh Rosen, though. He went to UCLA, so if you're like thinking, who, who cares about Josh Rosen, Joe? I think people in uh, LA are still kind of casually curious about the fate of Josh Rosen, maybe. Where does he go? Where does he get? I mean, not in not in Miami. The Tua is waiting. In the, maybe he maybe he does get a chance in Miami. I don't know, but I think if Tua's healthy. They're bringing him on. ASAP. Is he willing to stay in Miami as a insurance policy in case Tua gets all reckless and runs around, gets banged up? I don't know. I heard someone say, I heard someone say Patriots could be an interesting spot for him. Jared goes to the Falcons. Going from Vanderbilt to Atlanta. That'll be for Jared Morley. We've got the uh, got the Falcons in a team random. Actually, that's my rookie pile. Where's That's the that comic pile. All right. All right. We got Coley Parkinson, twenty out of fifty. Joe Burrow.
Deshaun Hamilton. And we've got Denzel Mims. Denzel Mims. Mims will go to the Jets, so that'll be for Joseph K. Joe Burrow, of course, will go to Natalino and the Bengals. How are how are what someone should look these up. How are uh our Joe Burrow score base going for on a secondary market. Maybe if you get it graded and grind those out. Team Cooper Cup. Some rookies here. More Tua. Tua, of course, will go to Gary and the Dolphins. Got Gladiator on in the background. <laughs> Chris Levin saying Joe Burrow score 10 bucks. That's not bad. There's Clavon Chasen. Van Jefferson. 8 out of 20 autograph. That's a, that's a Ram. Van Jefferson will go to Scott V. Got the Rams last. I wish I was, Jesse. I wish I was watching baseball. I'm going to watch Gladiator instead. There's Gabriel Davis, red zone at 20. Wait, did someone mention, was it Andy maybe? Someone was talking earlier that they may have, like, that players and owners are restarting negotiations or something like that. Another bangle, Natalino with this. So I don't know, hopefully we'll go back to the table and figure some ish out. Justin Herbert, of course, will go to the Chargers, JC. Nice. El Canone saying sports betting just got legals in Colorado and there are no sports to bet on. You could bet on, uh, I've been betting on DraftKings stock, El Cano. How about that? I've been betting on that DraftKings stock. It's been doing all right. It's Corey Davis for the Titans. So the proposal is what, a 76 game season? Six games, starting starting when? Yeah, at least it is something. I agree. We've got Michael Warren the second. Michael Warren goes to the Eagles. Fly Eagles fly for Chet. 
Nick Chubb to 100. Books, learning, philosophy. He spent his tired hours reading scrolls from the Senate. And all the while, the people were forgotten. But the Senate is the people's time. All right, next box. July 10th is what they're thinking. So maybe there will be an All-Star game. Can, can we start the season with the All-Star game at Dodger Stadium? That's where it's supposed to be. I'm definitely on the player's side, Calvin. I mean... You know, at, at, at the end of the day, I gotta, be, I gotta be with the players. Although, frankly, neither side is looking too, too good in this situation, though. But yeah, um, definitely got to be with with the players in this. You know, the owners made a proposal in March, I think. Back when all this was starting, they kind of figured out, hey, here's how we're going to split up the money. You know, and... And then they're going back on it, saying the players have to concede more money, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, these are billionaire owners, you know? Guess what? A player's career, 10, 15, 20 years at best, you know? They're getting, every player is getting older right now. Their chance to, to earn as a, as a baseball player is, is being... Is being reduced just to what help billionaire owners save money, and they're going to be owning teams for decades. You know, so I mean, they should they should be it's Tyler Johnson. And there is Rico Doddle. And that'll go to the Cowboys, Dallas with that one, Leonard. All right, these are, we're back to vet commons now. There's Marvin Jones Jr. But the struggles that baseball has had, you know, kind of goes to show you and I that the players' union and the owners and the league not getting along. And their uh, their collective bargaining agreement ends at the end of the 2021 season, and we're getting a taste of of how bad it could be. So I'm worried about that too. Brian Lewerke, 21 out of 50. I think he ended up with the Patriots. Yeah, Patriots. And it's kind of a frustrating thing because baseball has a lot of young, exciting players coming up the ranks, a lot of interest in prospecting and baseball prospects and whatnot. And so you're kind of getting really close to screwing up a lot of things this year and possibly even next year. So they got to be careful. You 
Uh, meanwhile, basketball players and owners seem to have figured things out. I mean, they're not best friends, those two organizations, but those two groups, but they've, they've been able to take care of it. I think it also helps that they just, I think basketball players just completed their collective bargaining agreement like a year or two ago. Pretty recently. Jordan Love, Jay Hart, is he, that's, that's what he's going with with his autograph, Jay Hart. And that would be Steve, who got randomized the Packers. Justin Herbert, of course, will go to the Chargers. Yeah, Al Canone saying, if the owners played this wrong, baseball owners, maybe a strike on their hands. Yeah. I mean, next year, there could be a work stoppage because of all the st stuff happening this year. I mean, it's like we're seeing the negotiations. There's uh, Fletcher Cox to 10. We're seeing the negotiations for the uh, for the collective bargaining agreement like happen now when they should just be, let's just get baseball back just for the, just as a sign of goodwill something for people to watch. There's Thaddeus Moss. There's Joe Burrow right here. And Natalino with the Bengals, Cat Team Mojo. There is Brandon Carr, rookies. There's Taylor Luan for the Titans. Steve got randomized the Titans in this. You sure do. Those are considered inserts. But you'll get all of those. There's Will Fuller. Where's the number on there? There you go. 13 out of 50. That's for the Dolphins. That's going to go to Gary. All right. And the final box, fourth and final. Good luck, everybody. What's the weakest players union? Football, maybe? Baseball might be the strongest. Then basketball and football and ho uh, hockey, perhaps. But I think football definitely has one of the weakest weakest unions. And it looks like they're just going to power through. Maybe no fans for a little while in the stands. It's kind of crazy for two teams opening new stadiums, my Raiders in Vegas and the Chargers and the Rams here in LA.
I got Vic Beasley Jr. to 50. I think the pattern is these are all the vet commons leading up to that gray border right there. Some inserts for an auto and then some rookies. Back to the commons again. Until we get there, there's Zay Jones for my Raiders to 100. People seem to really like the Zay Jones amongst. Raider Nation. Maybe a sleeper pick. It's T. Higgins, 16 out of 50, Gold Auto. T. Higgins is a bangle. Are you not entertained? Jalen Ramsey to 20. Rams, Scott. Yes, it is. You're good, Spadden, but you're not that good. You could be victimous. I'm required to kill, so I kill. That is enough. That's enough for the podcast, <coughs> but not for Rome. Mm. Coffee. The young emperor has arranged a series of spectacles to commemorate his Kyle Allen. Marcus Williams. And we've got a Drew Brees autograph, one of one. Wow. That's pretty nice. That's Joe Kubasek and the Saints. So it looks like some surprises in score football right here. Nice. Joe. Saints, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I saw that Breeze card flipped upside down, and I was like, that can't be, can't be an autograph, could it? There it was. Darnell Savage Jr. to 100. Got a Bryce Perkins. Got a green foil, green border. Bryce Perkins is a Ram. That's going to go to Scott. That green always makes me think it's an out of five, but it's it's not trickery. Yes. 
We got Raekwon McMillan for the Dolphins. TJ Hawkins for the Lions. And what else do we got to close things out? We got, is that our second Rico Doddle? I think so. And that'll be for the boys, Cowboys. That's going to go to Leonard. And a final Joe Burrow. Bangles, Adelino. And these are non-numbered inserts. So that, that'll be part of that one big non-numbered insert group. Or will it, actually? No, it's just non-insert, non-numbered rookie cards will be one lot. So I do have to do that randomizer. So let's flip back to the list here. Go to this blank list, new dice. So this will be top, middle, bottom. And everyone from David Baker down to Ryan and everybody in between has a shot at, once again, this group right here. All non-insert, non-numbered rookie cards will go to one group, except for those guys, of course, which I've been pulling as we're going along. All right, so good luck to everybody here. One dice roll for both lists. Let's roll it, randomize it, five and five, 10 the hard way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10 top, top cards, we'll get those uh, fantasy stars. Right there. All right, once again, five into five, 10 times. Name on top, after 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. After 10, congrats to three, two, and Chet. Chet, I don't know if I called your name too often in this break, but there you go. You're going to get a stack of uh, non-insert, non-numbered rookie cards. We'll all go to you, except for those players, of course. All right. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Should I do a quick little recap, I guess? It's kind of a longer break. So some pretty nice stuff in that... That Breeze was definitely a surprise. That one of one Drew Breeze was definitely a surprise. That was really nice. And there you go. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.